in this video we are going to integrate we are going to integrate this to the power of 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 and in general we can integrate it to the power of n by making use of this recursion relation uh, what this is saying is that if, uh, if you let i n to be your current integral then the next one i i n plus 1 the next one will be this thing whatever it may be plus this thing times your current one so this this relation allows you to work out um, the integral to the power of n so so we, we you, you you see what i mean when i give you an example so our first step is to come up with this relation so that's our aim at the moment so let's try and integrate it for i n plus one so i n plus one i n plus one i n plus one would be this thing to the power of n plus one so let's try and integrate this so so your eyes should zoom into this bit here create your triangle in such a way that this block will be true so if you make the opposite to be x the adjacent to be one then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be square root x squared plus one so by looking at this tan well don't forget we need to extract our dx so uh, so this tan tan is this so tan theta equals opposite over hypotenuse which is x so um so differentiate it it will give you dx equals this thing here so we can put this into the dx and then uh, and then looking looking well we, we need to extract this thing here but at the moment we've got the square root so let's let's try and look at this hang on so so this here is secant secant theta equals um hypotenuse over adjacent which will be this but we need to extract this thing here so from here square both sides that will then take you to here and then if you want if you want um if you want this thing squared then you would square both sides you would square both sides if you want this thing uh cubed if you want this thing cubed then then cube both sides if you want if you want this thing to the power of four then uh then th then uh then it would be this thing to the power of four if you want this thing to the power of n plus one then you would then you would have this thing to the power of n plus one so 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 that would then take you to uh, to here and then whenever you have something to something squared to the power of this thing so it's just simply this times this that would then give you this so um so this block here this block here is actually this so we can put this into here we can put um, this block into the dx so the whole thing here would then become would then become would then become would then become this so now it's just a matter of tidying this up you've got squared here and then that will cancel out giving you this tidy this up um, what tidy this up that would then be uh, cos and then now we know how to by now we know how to integrate cost to the power of anything by using this reduction formula so this is a reduction formula for for cos uh, cost to the power of n so we, we've seen this before so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you recognize this so we have the ability to integrate anything cost to the power of anything so using the reduction formula to try and integrate this remember rn here this rn here will be 2n if that makes sense um, so rn is actually 2n uh, Rn is 2n if that makes sense. So let's let's um, let's try and integrate this now by by following the formula. Remember, Rn is 2n. So it's saying 1 divided by 2n, which will then give us this. And then uh, and then 2n. Remember, hang on. This thing here is 2n take away 1. That will be 2n take away 1. And then 2n. Uh, hang on. This thing here is 2n take away 1. So that would be 2n take away 1. This thing would be 2n. So it's, uh, remember, Rn is 2n. So 2n take away 2. That would be 2n take away 2. So applying the reduction formula, this thing here will then become, will then become this thing here. So now we need to sort this out. So uh, we, um, hang on, let me think. So, so we are currently, we are currently here. We are currently here. I will continue in the next video. Okay, I've lost track. Okay.